You're not messing up with Kristoff. Kristoff, with scary eyes, strikes back. Did we saw Ellie in the jacket before? So yeah, he figured it out. Oh, kind, okay. Was I right? Was my, like, theory right? It's totally different kind of weapon. I'm confused with this backstory. Oh wait, that's bad. And she will become next kind. Hello and welcome, Pocket Watch here, and it's about time for another episode of DS era. So let's just continue. Let's continue the story because it's going to it's go it's like it's going to be better and better with every episode. Like I know that at the beginning when I started the series, some of you were concerned uh, about me dropping the series because apparently some other like less players or something uh, dropped it like in the mid times or something. And I don't think I'm going to drop it because it's pretty awesome so far. And I'm really interested in like uh, backstory of the characters and stuff. So yeah. Let's just go, because we're going to have, like, a Christoph talk here. And I'm kind of scared, because when he's on screen, this is never good stuff. So, yeah, let's just do it. Yeah, I clicked too much, I remember now. Do you wish to ask me? A calm voice, not high or low, uh, and uh, neither oppressive nor soothing rang out. His voice had the power to dispel the rising hostility between the man and the woman that, at this point, threatened to pass the boiling point and erupt into all-out battle to death. <laughs> yeah. You're not messing up with Kristoff. Also, I made a little... Uh, um, vote polling community tab recently about uh, Wilhelm. And if I'm correct, let me actually pretty fast check this, but I'm pretty sure the... Oh. Never mind, I cannot check it now. <laughs> uh, because how the window of uh, this era works and I cannot get into my <laughs> browser now. Anyway, uh, I think the version without the glasses won. No, I think the glasses one won. Yeah. I asked if you liked better the glasses version or non-version, and I think the glass version one. I like the glass version as well, but they're like, it's way too cooler. Like, without glasses, I, w uh, I would say he's like, uh, um, has bundle vibes increases, but with glasses, he's just like total badass, and I like that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, for me, like, that would be the glasses. Um, we ran through the two of the. What ran through the two of them was no mere sound, but the power of the presence itself. It was as though the man had been the sparking in gold embraced in the deep darkness of the corridor. Neither Wilhelm nor Kay had felt anything like that from him before. And as such, it's, it's almost instantly brushed aside their fighting spirit. I. <laughs> Christoph. Your hand voice showed no hint of fellowship, however. <laughs> the unflattered bloodlust, had been impregnating his eyes, completely vanished as Wilhelm's shoulder it, uh, trembled from laughter. <laughs> she cautiously gave Wilhelm a side glance. She couldn't let her guard down. With the embodiment of the pure malice, it won't be all that surprising uh, if he were to blab about how he uh, should kill Drusauka. However, Okay, yeah, that's definitely how you would think that. Surprisingly, Wilhelm chose to keep he, her secret to himself. Perhaps. He was being honest uh, when he said he couldn't care less about any team killing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which appeared into the crimson, crimson abyss, 
All that awaited her was madness. She was now all too aware of that. Did you ever question was a test to confirm where, where she stood? She could not let him notice her agitation and above all, true goal. What's your true goal? It's something about Kain. Lisa had died because her lifespan had run out. At least that's uh, that was how they explained it to her. Oh, so that's a thing that Rusaka mentioned in the previous episode. Like they are not immortal. It wasn't unreasonable, even though she had an unaging body and was nearly immortal. What mattered most was the state of the soul. When human souls existed for almost a century, they would begin seeking death. That was how they were designed, and this principle was not to be taken lightly. So it could be said that Lisa, who was over 90 years old, was at the critical period. What's more, she hadn't uh, shed her humanity to the humanity to the extent others did and didn't possess Rusaka obsession with survival to hold out hundreds of years. Her role had been uh, to open the third swastika. There was a high possibility that succeeding uh, in that had put her at ease. The timing seems a bit co too coincid uh, coincidental, but Kay did not feel like uh, overthinking the matter. However, Wilhelm chuckled as if he was watching some low bro comedy. Kay completely ignored him. Yeah, Bay is pretty sh uh, sharp. He can probably tell that Kristoff killed her or something. Unless he's like... Yeah, he's actually chucking about this because he knows that... He knows like... Truth or at least he thinks, right? That... Kay is like a traitor. Well, he's not wrong. The name no longer agitated her. Okay, yeah, that would like the Chris is decaying as well. Christoph with scary eyes strikes back. I think that will be the next vote pool. <laughs> the substitute commander raised a finger. Oh shit, okay. Who's going but yeah, who's going to like Um control him now? Who's next in the line? Trifa spoke with utmost indifference. Kay was about to protest, but swallowed her words before they could leave her mouth. Okay。Reinhard Heydrich, the harbinger of the Beguling Light, number one of the Obsidian Round Table, leader of the Longinus Drazen Orden. The very mention of his name prevented any attempts at rebuttal. Trifa ignored her question continued. あなたの国縁卓への忠誠心を図るためのね。入団経緯の特殊性を考えれば、このような試験も致し方ないと考えてください。Cut the Trifa is so scary. I swear. Damage uh, of the Laughing Reinhardt. Red haired witch. Sorry. <laughs> Damage of the Laughing Red haired witch uh, flashed through Kay's mind for the moment and vanished. She swallowed her words and bowed her head. She had no other choice. Kay returned his thanks and disappeared in the darkness of the hallway towards the ice room where Kane slept. Once he could no longer see her, three five glasses turned to the Ivory Demon. Ok, 
okay. And he had some conversation with Bay. Why we just had like red flash? What was that? I stopped before the tower and frowned. Oh, he felt the the thing. Hmm. You can feel that there's someone from LDO. Shiro? There's a problem, you know? <laughs> the entire place was deserted. There was no sign of people or life. Did we saw Ellie in the jacket before? Let me know in the comments. I think it's the first time I see her in the jacket. That's pretty cool. I don't remember seeing her in this. A convention hall. This place really was an ideal location to fulfill the conditions of opening a swastika. They sure wouldn't have a problem finding people to sacrifice in here. Shiro looked up and nodded. Yeah. Well, there is no time to set a trap this time, so well, I guess we are going to just lose another fight. It was her words, that made me realize it. It was probably the only one, I was probably the only one who felt it. I pressed my palms against my scarf, against my neck. Like, Ellie expressions are literally taken from uh, from uh, Kasumi. This is one of the faces that Kasumi is doing, I think. Why? Because they are not they are not buying this right they are definitely not buying this they at least shiro realized that ren was like oh hmm something something's not okay why <laughs> shiro smirked as usual i couldn't tell whether he was messing around or being serious that's actually a good point, Shiro. That's actually a good point. Didn't thought about this. なるほど。よし、別々に行こうぜ。俺たちは下から登ってく。いいよな。I had wondered for a moment if Shiro had figured it all out, but I was probably overthinking it. He probably just uh, worked his way with words to make me think that we uh, that that were the case. Okay, Kaidan,で上がるから真ん中ら辺でご留守しようぜ。本当にホールが死体だらけだったらどうするの？キャーって叫べよ、大声で。二人揃って。え。ふざけ。どうすか、ハッパン。お前こそ助けて欲しくなったら助けてって叫べよ。そうしたら助けに来てくれるのか。さてね。とりあえず笑うだろうな。プロバブリ。絶対叫ばねえ。じゃ。
It was odd that Shiro would overlook something as simple as this. Knowing him, he would have at least checked to see what floor Vaito had been at. So yeah, he figured it out. He realized like Ren uh, checking his neck that he felt something weird. And he saw that the elevator is on top and he realized, as we said, as we saw in the previous episodes, they realized they're just like humans and Ren is actually above them. That pains them, but it's true. And he basically told Ren to go up and deal with, with whatever that is and they will provide backup from the bottom uh, as they go up. Which meant... Yep, pretty much. I don't know if he figured out uh, through his intuition or from the way I was acting, regardless. He probably realized that I had business at the observation deck. That's why he left the top to me. The way I looked up, it must have been spoken louder to him than what. So, who can be on the top? There is too little information, I don't know. I have literally no idea. It might be Kane. It might be Kane, actually. Again. But who's controlling him? I don't know. Maybe some, my, maybe the Sonnen kind? Maybe? Maybe we'll get to see who Sonnen kind is. Because... It, it like, Sonnen kind was mentioned in the previous episode. So, maybe? Yes, I had realized it. Those bastards were there. They were concerning their presence, but it was too... wasn't to hide themselves from me. It was like they were stripping their emotions. The desire to kill that they all reek of. Were they beckoning me? I could figure it out who was there without a simple... Uh, through a simple process of elimination. This wasn't Wilhelm's style, so it couldn't be him. Okay, makes sense. In that case, he was probably in for the battle to death. If so, then splitting up was called a right call. If I were up against Agner Berewilder, then Shiro and Honjo would just hold me back. I noticed I had been unconsciously gripping my upper arm as I uh, gazed down at uh, the shrinking skyscape. After a dozen of seconds, that felt like eternity, the elevator door uh, doors parted open. Okay, who's here? Soka. Sakurai? Sonnen kind? Kind? Uh, Trifa? I don't know. I stepped off the elevator and muttered to persuade myself. Oh my god. Okay, so it is Sakurai, okay. And now the question. Are you here because of the operation that LDO gave you? Or you are here by your own choice and you wanted to talk with Ren? Because she is definitely betraying LDO, so... Yeah, she may just like came here to just talk. It's possible. It's counting as the betrayal of Eldritch though. So she should have like, I mean, okay, that curse that Rusaka gave her is pretty weak now. So it's like not bothering her much. I mean, it's still bothering her probably, but not that much. The moonlight shone into the observation deck, revealing two human shaped silhouettes. Oh, two. Oh, kind. Okay. So both of them. My eyes were drawn to the giant, of course it was. Yeah, okay. Sakurai spoke in a side of the, in a side of the voice. So Sakurai have ability to actually... Uh, like, move kind? Okay, I didn't expect that. I guess like, she's like, emotion mostly like, emotionally attached to kind. But Kain is pretty much dead, so you need like Puppet Master or something to use him. And Sakurai doesn't seem to have this kind of ability, so this is kind of weird, you know? Unless they really doing what I thought in the previous episodes, and they brought like Sakurai and Kain, and Sakurai is supposed to like execute Kain or something. To prove like her loyalty. Is it does mess up? Was I right? Was my like theory right? Okay, okay, that's new. 
Sakura turned her head and stared at me. Her eyes were filled with resolve. As for me, I returned her gaze in due. If I fluttered here, I was dead. Sakura was the first to break the silence. Okay. Kain arms moved, his giant lamp of iron for a for a sword rank, but Sakurai made him stop with a wave of a hand. Okay. ふたふりある中で出来の悪い方を公の目にさらすのそれは真打を人として神秘性を高めるためだったり単純に乱暴な扱いから守られるようにだったりまあありてに言えばえ、what Wait, what? What are you talking about? Wait, this is a random conversation. What the fuck? She waved a hand, Kane stopped. Like, for some reason, like, she can, like, actually control him. Oh! Wait, they're talking about the. No, wait, Holy Lance. They're talking about Lance. Okay, I have no idea then what. I thought like they were talking about Kane Achner Pere, about Kane uh, Sword. But Sword is not a Lance. So. That's weird. That's not Longinus. That should be a Lance. Sakurai said that in the uh, faltering, self mocking tone of voice. A knockoff, a replica? That thing, really? Wait. So they to actually talk about the cane weapon? It doesn't look like a lance at all. It doesn't look like a lance. I'm confused. Let me know in the comments. I think... I think, like, maybe they will, like... They will probably tell me, but... If they don't, then please, like, confirm this to me. Are they talking about cane weapon? The, the Longinus is cane weapon? A replica to like as they said it's not it, it, it doesn't look like a lance at all and longinus is the lance okay Hennish Himmler. Okay. Is it, it, do they mean like Himmler from like actual World War II history? だから長官は真相を表向き世の汚れから秘匿するためとかそういう理屈で封印して自分にも使える影打ちが欲しかったのよ それこそが本物だと懸念して、ハイドリヒ教語と真相を葬るため。はい。だから日本のある一族に白羽の矢が建てられた。そこの家は代々神職でね。ちょっと珍しい金属の精錬方法を知っていたの。目をつけられた理由はそこでしょうね。だって本物の精装は口ず、錆びず、決して折れない。そう。
a lance as Agner Bere, I guess. The Holy Lance. The Longinus, that's his uh, Agner Bere from what I see right now. And they created basically a sword that have similar abilities as the Lance. And gave it to Cain. So Cain is Himmler? Cain is Himmler? Because he wanted the Lance? Is that it? Wait, what? I'm confused with this backstory. That's family in question. So maybe this get maybe maybe okay. So the so Kane is not for like Himmler as I thought. Like so he's the Smith. Okay. So I could I continue to uh, gazing at Kane, and the thing. Uh, replica sword. It's, it's, this is sword. This is not the freaking lance. Longinus's lance. It's, it's bothering me. It's really bothering me. Oh shit! Oh! Okay, so it's, it still doesn't tell me why Kane is so important for you to you, but now we know that your family created the sword. Okay. でもおかしいのよ。元々はヒムラーでも使えるようにっていうのがコンセプトだったはずなのに、結局それもすごく持ち主を選ぶ代物になってしまった。ある意味当然なのかもね。だってソソフは真に迫る偽物を作れと言われた。だ。Sakura is smiling lifelessly, as if uh, through invisible tears. 運命の槍の影打ち。レベルズブルグロンゲヌスは創造主であるサクライの一族にしか使えない。おお。サクライの一族だけを狙い撃つの。it absorbs oh shit okay this is big so kind is one of the sakurais so it's so it's not like her lover or anything it's like someone from her family maybe it's her father or something it absorbs not other souls so sakurais are destined to kill their own families if they use the longinus throw this thing away holy shit the other words great throw this thing away throw <laughs> Oh. So it's not like you kill Sakurai's to get stronger. It's literally just choosing Sakurai member and sucking out life of them. Out of them. Oh. So, in a few days, oh wait, that's bad, wait, that's, that's bad, how many sakurais do we have actually, Sak okay, how many sakurais do you have in your family right now, like, I even feel like you are the strongest from your family, right now, and Blade will probably aim at someone strong, right, I'm kind of afraid that if Kain will die, like his body will decompose, then the blade will kill Kay and she will become living corpse wielding the Longinus. And she will become next Kain. That's possible and Kain have like few days left, right? Oh. 
so it was. That moving corpse was a member of Sakurai's family. So once that thing was destroyed, she would become the next kind. Yeah, that's what I would think about. Bird. Oh, it was bro. Okay. Okay, that was a brother. Eleven years ago. Part of me was honestly speechless, but the other half found it surprisingly logical. Tuban Kane was an amalgam of Sakurai relatives. That's why he said like it's like third one and like uh, merged with others. Because it's literally like Sakurai's soul merging with another soul within the blade. Oh. Her family was all jump packed into the replica sword. Oh, so the body actually... Okay. I thought like the body is like belonging to the person that the sword is absorbing. But apparently the body is fused with other bodies as well. Okay. Okay, this is even more messed up. She was doing this to save her family. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. So my like theory like for her dream was right. Like she wants to like revive Cain basically. But I didn't knew that this was like actually her like family members and like her family basically created this thing. <laughs> Damn. Okay, now I feel bad for them. だから言ったでしょ。自分だけが愛と正義のヒーローだなんて思い上がるな。私はあなたの動機なんかに水も負けてるつもりはない。I Let's say your mother and father were in danger, and you could only save one of them. Who would you choose? You had your beloved family member on one end of the scales, and you told a stranger on another. Would you balance them out? The answer was no. Anyone would answer that way. I was the same. I could still remember how I prioritized Kasumi back at school, standing by and watching all those students die. That's why she had little to no qualms about letting the... 800,000 citizens of Sawahara city to die. And so, now I could confidently tell where would be no... Uh, uh, there would be no reasoning with her. Yeah, both of them have like close ones. God damn it! あなたにとっては何の縁もない他人の理屈で生活が壊されようとしてるんだもの。でも、私だって自分が間違ってるとは思ってない。Fairness, justice, those words mean nothing in the real world. ごめんなさいね。こんな話をして。だけど。私はどうしても我慢できなかった。いや。彼をただの化け物みたいに思うことが。I this is going to be hard. Oh, wow. And with that... Let's go. 
There it is. Mari. I was the first to react. The guillotine appeared on my right arm. A trick blade made, made to decapitate. But you know what? I will leave that for the next episode actually. We just got the backstory for Sakurai's and I think this is okay for to be one short episode. It's like around 30 minutes if I'm correct right now. Because I had to uh, do a little split. But I think it's like around 30 or 30 minutes. So it should be fine. As a Sakurai backstory to talk with you guys about Sakurai backstory. Got some additional info maybe. And now I'm not confused because uh, they kind of explained this. I mean, I'm still kind of like why they call this as the sword Longinus when Longinus is the lance. What? Anyway, uh, tragic backstory for Sakurai's. Uh, I don't know who I'm going to... Who I want to win. I want to Sakurai to win or I want Ren to win because both of them have like good uh, good reasons. Both of them have pretty much the same reason. Sakurai reason is I think a bit like better I would say because it's like her close family and for Ren it's like his friends. I mean his friends are his family basically at this point but for Sakura, it's like she's fighting a curse that's like above her family and her family is probably still alive in this game, you know? If you think about this, like it's possible that the souls uh, of her family are just like crumbled into in this in the sword and like they're just still screaming there. Ugh. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. So thank you for joining. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for your support. And I will see you in the next one. So thank you. And for the pocket watch, it's going out.